All right, welcome back to our channel. Yeah, so today, you know, I came around to harvest some of the maize that we have. And this particular one, I replanted very, very early in the season. I right when the first rain came, it's just a sample that I planted. You know, this is a replant of some particular corn that somebody gave me. You know, like somebody, someone farm it over here. And when I look at the, the results of it, the seed was looking really, really well. So I replanted some of it. And if you look at the results of it, came really, really, really well. You know, the seeds are very, very huge. You know, something like this, you can get a really good yield out of them. Yeah. So we harvested one of it to see how it looks like. Let me try a different one, like this one, to also see how it is. Yeah, so uh, this, you know, sometimes nowadays buying the seeds are so expensive. So we just wanted to try if we have to replant the corn, what the yield might be. You know, yeah, I know my screen is moving too too much. Uh, but let me see, cause. Huh. One, we used to buy one, uh, one kilos of maize for about ten cities or fifteen cities, but now we are having to buy one kilo of it about forty cities. This is just ridiculous. So this is the one. See, this one we came really very well. So these, we want to keep replanting them. You know. See how they will do, how well you know, that they will do. See, like the seeds are bigger than the normal seeds that we normally know. Yeah. Yeah. And then the crop, the plants, they grow really, really tall. That's one thing that I like about this particular seeds. Yeah, they grow really, really, really tall. Okay. I'm just going to be. By removing them, putting them in a bag, and try replanting and see how they will do. Yeah, so with all of these two, I'm going to give give you guys an update about it to see how well it went. See, like look at this particular one. It's really big compared to the average corn that you can harvest. Yeah, yeah. There are some seeds that we actually spend money to buy. Let me enter here and show you guys. You know, those ones, you know, they are not even the dark quality. The ones that, you know, you pay a lot of money to buy and plant. You know what I mean? They, they, they came. Some of the food came really, really well. But the size of the seeds inside, like uh, my hands is full of these two maize, so I can't really open this. Like, I will open one of them to, to compare how they are. Let me try put this maze down. Okay. And let me find the one that might be about the same size like what I had in my hands before. This one I'm just I'm just gonna peek at it. Yeah, okay, see. So this one this one too did really really well and the other thing too that we were doing when i was planting this was i was looking to see if i can cross pollinate this one with this one so we planted them very very close this line was the one that i said is a replant and this over here across here the seeds here we bought them but we planted these ones early so once they started tasseling takes about two more weeks or maybe four more weeks before this one started tasseling so they cross pollinate these ones so the seeds over here should actually look better you know bigger let me actually open this and then you see something so let me compare something see like look at this let me put them side by side and see something. Oh, I want to kind of come to the plane. 
So let's see this over here. See, you guys can tell the difference. This is the seed that we replant. This is the one that we bought from the store. So these two are the replant of a corn that they said that we cannot replant but we did replant and it actually did really well this one we bought it so we kind of put them under the same condition manure fertilizer spraying all of that we did same thing you know but this one is not that bad but it's just that it's short and i think the cross pollination too helped this one cross pollinated this one so it helped the seeds because these seeds they were not that big but now they are looking bigger no. so well at least something good came out of it so i'll try replanting these ones i'll find the quality ones out of them replant them and see what will come out of them and i know for sure you know they are going to do good because i'm already seeing the results but you know to get quality seed, I think we might have to keep doing the cross pollination things or some all the time or at least every other season, you know, to kind of change the variety a little bit, you know, because uh, in genetics, that's why we believe that if you keep populating the same genes over and over, you know, sometimes they become weak. So if you find a, another quality maize, you know, we can mix them up and cross pollinate them to kind of change their genetics uh, a little bit you know to improve the quality of maize that we have all the time too so as we go along i'll give you guys more updates you know, this is the corn that we planted recently i'll give you guys update about that one soon you know, we have some chickens over here anytime we put some corn down they come and just start eating them like this we have some ducks they're able to fly and just pluck the corn from the cup like over there like that they will move it and just put it down and start eating them yeah so let me go through here too and see something so this one let me see see the one that we said we bought from the store you know some of them are not that big but they have full fruit inside them that is one thing that is really really good yeah and i think they benefited from the cross pollination like more than i was expecting them to benefit from wow yeah they are not that tall they are just short run but their fruit are full which is good and if they were really really long like you know, let me see compared to these ones see that will be really really good which means these ones is the one that we need to focus more on you know and then do cross pollinations and other things to get good yield out of this thing but thank you guys for watching now i'll be giving you guys more updates about this this kind of <laughs> experiment i don't i kind of like this thing doing these things too because man i don't know we in ghana trying to find the truth to a lot of varieties of seas and you know even agriculture trying to find information about things is very very difficult so if you do your own little experiment as you go along it helps a lot you know you just don't follow anybody's formula you follow your own formula that is working yeah i do believe in those things like if it's working you just stick with it you know, and improve it a little bit at a time as you go so thank you guys for watching please like the video share it and subscribe